Hello, I'm David Chaston with 9 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, including news of another huge bank fine in the US. Overnight, Bank of America reached another settlement over its mortgage lending practices leading up to the subprime crisis. It paid $16.7 billion this time, and that takes its total legal costs over a range of similar issues to almost $70 billion. But it's still a behemoth bank and still in business and still prospering as one of America's biggest banks. It is now expected to star now that these woes are behind it. America's, Americans resold their homes in July at the fastest pace in almost a year, a sign the housing market was gaining steam after a year-long slump. The number of Americans filing for new claims for unemployment benefits fell more than expected last week, pointing to a sustained improvement in their labour market conditions. American manufacturing PMI in August reached its highest reading in over four years. This expansion was mirrored in the Philly Fed survey. But across the Atlantic, the news wasn't so positive. German and French indexes are both sinking, although Germany is still expanding while France is contracting. France has acknowledged it is in trouble after recording nine months of zero growth. But President Hollande says the Eurozone's budget deficit targets are making growth impossible, and he vows to pursue stimulus measures instead. It'll be interesting to see how that turns out. A big renegade within a currency union can cause enormous problems for everyone. China's factory unofficial HSBC PMI also disappointed, falling more than analysts were expecting in August, as a credit slowdown and a property slump added to risks. That is going to have an impact on Australia, I think. China's economy faces an uphill battle for the rest of 2014, adding pressure on Beijing to step up government spending or free up money to spur growth. The focus of the weekend will now shift back to the US, where investors are awaiting the start of the meeting of top central bankers and economists in Jackson Hole in Wyoming. The S&P index, S&P index rose to a record high of just under to the 2000 level, amid optimism the Federal Reserve is committed to supporting the strengthening economy, meaning rate rises are still some ways off. US Treasury 10-year benchmark bond yields rose one basis point today and now at 2.42%. The US oil price is soft and it's just under $94 a barrel. Brent is also basically unchanged at just under $103 a barrel. Gold sank on the speculation of future higher interest rates, down another $16 an ounce and is now at $1,274 an ounce. We start today with our currency higher. We're back above 84 US cents, 90.4 Aussie cents and the TWI is at 79.2. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9 brought to you by interest.co.nz.